Hey guys, I can't believe we're already June and I completely just lost track of my monthly vlog. So here we are picking things back up and hoping I can stay consistent for the rest of the year. I feel like I have so many updates, I don't even know where to start. But I am super excited about two things. So one, I I'm going to Banff to Alberta in July for vacation. It's gonna feel so good to travel again. Second exciting thing, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I'm someone that has a lot of hair. You could probably tell by my eyebrows and just my hair in general. I have dark, thick hair and um, I'm finally going to start getting laser treatments. Like I have been wanting this for years. I'm actually collaborating with um, a specific salon in Montreal called Tonic Salon Spa and I'm going for my consultation in two days so on Thursday I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and take you through the whole entire process I just can't I can't wait guys so I'm gonna do my armpits and my hair my hair <laughs> I'm gonna do my armpits and my arms just to give you an idea of what my arms look like oh now I'm about to finish work and then I'm gonna go thrifting. I haven't been since like April. So I wanna find some cute summer clothes, especially for my travels. Um, so yeah, let's go. you guys the things that I decided not to buy so first this vest um it's really pretty it's just kind of more fall appropriate seeing as it's like a really thick wool so I'm not gonna get it um this here I found it really cute it's just really not the my favorite color palette so I'm gonna leave it behind I'm not sure I would ever really wear it um this one yeah it was just way too bold for me I don't I think I'm, I'd be wearing this same for this. Not these are just not my favorite colors, um, but they're cute. Then this skirt, I'm unsure about. I don't love polka dots, but I do want more skirts, and I think it would be cute if I styled it in a cool way. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I thrifted. So happy I found a shirt in the color that I was looking for. I know that it's kind of, it's super bold. It's like this bubblegum pink. I really love it. Chunky, um, kind of puffy t-shirt sleeve. Uh, it looks really nice. And I love just how like unique the shirt is. I think it'll look much cuter once it's cropped and then I could also wear it as a shirt kind of on its own. Okay, so I think I'm really loving this top. Also, sorry, I know I keep looking this way because there's a mirror here so I could look at myself. Um, yeah, I love kind of how unique it is. Um, I haven't really seen something quite like this, but it does have that zebra print trend. Okay, so next, this is like a new thing for me. Um, I realized the other day it was raining and I have no hoodies. I know that's like so weird, but I just never gravitate towards buying a hoodie. And yeah, I found this one from Aerie and I know how comfortable their clothes is. So I was like, this is kind of the perfect hoodie to introduce into my wardrobe. Um, this terry cloth material that it's made of is actually super trendy right now. How good is that? So happy about this find and it's a really good quality one too. It is a little big and oversized as usual. I am so excited, but also kind of nervous. I'm about to head out to my consultation for my laser. It's just kind of, I guess, like a rundown of how it works and getting all the information I need before I actually start the laser. Um, so I'm heading over to Tonic Salon Spa. I'm having six sessions and they have to be pretty spaced out in between, but I'll keep you posted on my results and how I'm liking it. And I'm just so freaking excited. This is something I've been wanting to do for years and I don't know why I kept putting it off. Um, it's going to be so, so worth it. Don't want to be late. For the, for the first time I'm actually on time, I should actually start <laughs> driving.
going to my first hair removal appointment. I'm so excited. It's so weird. I had to like shave my arms. They feel like baby smooth. I was like in the shower and I'm like shaving and I realized, oh my God, I want to take a before shot. So I had to run out and like one of my arms are half shaved. So I filmed the other one quickly and it was like raining outside and I'm like, I just need the shot because I really want to share with you like, you know, the results and the process. And I'm just, anyways, I feel like you guys are probably like, I feel like if you don't relate because you're not hairy, like you don't understand, but this is just such a blessing to be able to start my, this, I can't even express myself. It's just something I've been wanting to do forever. So on another note, um, I'm just rambling. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know why, but look how long my hair is getting. I feel like I'm 16 again with my hair this length. I just haven't decided yet if I want to just like let it keep growing or chop it like I normally do. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with my hair. I can't even explain how happy I am. Like, I know I sound like a broken record, but I was stressed about getting laser because my sister had gotten it like a couple years back and it really hurt her. So I was scared, even though they were telling me it wasn't bad. I was like, I'm gonna take my sister's um, experience. But yeah, she literally started my armpits and she's like, how much? like on 10 and that's when I realized she had started like I didn't even feel it and then I felt like a little bit of heat I'm like okay a 1 on 10 like nothing so so fast my armpits were done in like 5 minutes I feel and then my arms just one small section that I was like maybe was like a 3 on 10 and like the rest like it was such a breeze it was so smooth so good and like my experience overall at the salon like both the estheticians that i saw for my consultation and for my session so sweet like making sure that you're comfortable that you feel like at ease ready to answer all your questions no stress at all for the rest of my sessions i'm looking forward to going back already definitely recommend checking them out if you're in the montreal area they have so so many services like you probably saw my videos it's like three floors so there's like um you could get your hair done there there's like massages um mani pedis like basically every single service you could think of like they do it um so yeah highly recommend checking them out that workout felt so good and it feels good to just be like on a little streak of like really quick workouts that aren't too time consuming or too hard but just I don't know gets me moving a little bit since I just sit in a chair and work from home all day um, but I'm actually heading over to the office now um, I'm gonna work there this afternoon and then I'm heading out for supper restaurants are finally open here um, I'm heading out for supper with my work friends um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to pick out my outfit with you. Some new pieces I've been loving that I put on this rack. And I really feel like wearing this blazer that I thrifted recently. So I'm going to grab that. And then since this is such a bold print, I'm going to keep the rest of the outfit simple. So it's really hot out. I'm going to wear some shorts. These are literally my favorite pair of shorts ever, like from Aritzia. I want every single color of them. They're so flattering, so comfortable. 
or high-waisted kind of like a trouser short Ugh, I'm obsessed and loving these kind of like muscle tank shape tops lately so yeah that's what I'm gonna wear and for shoes I'm just gonna wear these cute chunky loafers so here's the look on and the little shoes to wear them with like a little white or black ankle sock and then for the bag I haven't decided yet between just this simple shoulder bag this more detailed one so this one I love that it kind of matches the shoes but I think it's a little too matchy matchy maybe and then there is a lot going on with the blazer I don't know, I do love this bag. I have to head to the office. It's Wednesday and tomorrow is a holiday here in Quebec, so we have the day off. So I'm kind of just celebrating with a friend. We're having a nice little picnic with some wine. And I went to the thrift store this week to just kind of get some stuff. And I just wanted to show you all what I picked up for like so cheap and everything is so cute. So I got this cute basket for $2. Um, and then these little bowls, I thought it would be cute to put some fruits and some of the stuff we'll be eating in here. Um, these are actually an old thrift find, but I'm just showing you again. Um, I got this little scarf just to like keep in the basket, but I thought it would be really pretty to kind of wear as a scarf in my hair as well. And then these are new bowls, they were 50 cents each. Um, I thought they were so pretty and I actually found these super pretty wine glasses. I'm obsessed. They kind of match the vibe too. Um, so these were kind of pricier. They were $4 each. And then the last thing, this pretty beige blanket, I got it for um, $4 I believe and this was $2. just wanted to show you guys that really quickly but I'm going to run over to my friend's place so we could get this picnic all set up. Mm -hmm. 